Hello, I'm Wade Barrett. I saw CM Punk's shoot on Raw, and I thought, why the fuck not? I'm going to shoot on all the YWC. And if you know what I mean, if you know who I'm talking about, then you are one of those bloody people. <laughs> they were basically, that's the YouTube wrestling community. And they think they are smart marks. <laughs> now, the definition is a mark. Is someone who marks out every time someone they're a fan of wrestles or does a promo or does something that they're entertained by and they go, yeah, I clap their fucking hands. <laughs> now, smart mark is what's known as an oxymoron because there's no such thing as a smart mark. Because mark in itself means you're a fan of the business. And if you're a fan of the business, then you clap during fake things. <laughs> so you can't be smart if you're a fan of wrestling. If that makes sense. It probably doesn't make sense because I've had a quarter of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> but... Well, who I'm basically referring to is Truth Slayer, Dante One Savage, RVD Tito for Life, uh, Monoxide, John Cheese, uh, even Russell Bunny. Yeah, that's a surprise. The people, anyone who commentates on wrestling and acts like they're better than the business when they've never worked in the business is a smart mark and therefore part of the YWC. And that means, I think that's some other guy called Sabu for, I don't even want to mention that bastard. <laughs> Those people aren't smart. Because if they're a fan of wrestling, then they're a mark. They're not a smart mark. No matter how many dirt sheets they read, no matter how many indie shows they go to, they're not smart to the business unless you work in the business. <laughs> you see, the only people that are smart to the business are people like this channel, Purity of Evil. This is the only channel you should be watching if you Woo, want yeah. there is if you want the truth about professional wrestling and you want the people who are smart truly smart about the business. I don't concern myself as a smart mark. I concern myself as a mark because I mark out for people not for people in TNA because TNA sucks. <laughs> But the people back in the day, I would mark out for Stone Cold, for Triple H, for Mick Foley, for uh, Mr. Perfect, for Brett the Hitman Hart, for The Undertaker. The list goes on and on. And on. And even CM Punk. Because what he said is 100% true. The business today is bullshit. <laughs> It's all about entertainment. It's nothing to do with wrestling. Wrestling, believe it or not, is the, is the hardest profession known to man. There's no off-season in wrestling like hockey and baseball and football and any other sport you want to throw at me. <laughs> wrestling is harder than that. You can throw all your bloody injuries at me I can give you your broken limbs, your deaths. <laughs> How many fucking footballers die at 35? Not as many as wrestlers. And why is that? Because, it, to quote the coach of the, the power plant in Atlanta, it's the hardest motherfucking sport in the world. Yes, I said sport. Don't take that out of context to say it's real. 
or not predetermined. I don't really give a fuck what you think. <laughs> what I believe is the hardest profession. Yes, I said profession there is. I don't think of it as a, it's not a sport technically because you don't compete in a real competition, but it takes a lot of physical prowess and a lot of skill and a lot of fucking athleticism. And basically, if you don't like that, then don't watch this fucking video. <laughs> and all of you people, you Triple H's, you Johnny Aces, you Vince McMahon's, you Dixie Carter's, you can all go fuck yourselves. <laughs> because Way Barrett is the future of this business. He's the best intercontinental champion there ever was, <laughs> there ever will be, and the and the best there is. <laughs> yeah, I'm quoting Bret Hart. But I don't give a fuck because I'm a quarter and I'm English and I can't take my drink. And basically. That's all I've got to say about that, to quote a great man.